Hello YouTube, Robert Alvarez the Psychic Witch, also known as Mr. Lighting on a Fan. It is a very warm evening, hence the tank top. Right now the time is approximately 6 minutes after 8 p.m. and the current date is Friday, August 26th, 2016. I would like to, before anything else, acknowledge my newest YouTube channel subscribers, Mary Burrell. Um, and I want to thank you for expressing an interest in having a reading with me. I already replied to your comment. It took me a few days. I apologize. Um, but you should see my email address and all that other good stuff. And my very newest um, YouTube channel subscriber, Yao Martinez. The Martinez I know how to pronounce in Spanish. The Yao I'm probably mispronouncing, so I apologize. Portuguese is not one of my languages. So I wanted to... Um, so first I wanted to talk about um, the upcoming, well, first of all, all right, let me focus. Okay, so a few things. First, um, it is not an official series, but from time to time, I am going to have uh, an updates video where I'm gonna be updating you on what's happening, what I'm doing, what's going on in my personal life, what's going on with my physical, mental, and emotional health and well-being, and that kind of thing. So that's number one. Number two, um, I am looking forward to autumn. I'm looking forward to the next few weeks. I'm looking forward to next year. I'm looking forward to the holidays. I'm looking forward to a lot of things. Um, I'm also looking forward to being busier. Um, so for those of you who have expressed an interest in having a reading with me and for those of you who have been thinking about having a reading with me or availing yourselves of any of my other psychic services, I cannot over recommend that you contact me sooner than later because um, generally speaking, September through December is the busiest time of the year for me. It has been the busiest time of the year for me for a number of years. When I began leading group prosperity classes on a regular basis, usually on a monthly or every six week basis, that's when March through August became busier for me and September through December became three times busier for me. Um, these last several years I have found and I have noticed that I book up relatively quickly from March through August and I book up super fast between September through December. Um, I will have you know that I scheduled an appointment as far in advance as late October as far back as early June. So um, and given that I have recently reconnected with some of the wonderful prosperity books written by the late and great Dr. Joseph Murphy and the current and great um, Dr. Catherine Ponder, I've been immersing my mind with prosperity consciousness, which means that I am booking up really fast. So if you've had a thought about having a reading with me, if you know you want to have a reading with me, if you want to avail yourselves of either a private metaphysical class with me, or if you want to avail yourselves of a goddess energy truly goddess energy healing treatment with me or a Reiki treatment with me, I cannot over recommend that you contact me sooner than later. I have already conducted my first private reading at Catland, which I'm very happy about. I am very thankful to the client who took the plunge and broke the ice. And of course, to the client who paid for that client's um, psychic for, uh, reading. So I'm very, very thankful for that. And last but not least, back by popular demand, I am conducting a group prosperity class at Catland. Um, it is scheduled for Friday, September 30th, 2016 from 7 to 9 p.m. Um, it is going to be different in several ways. First of all, uh, as some of you remember, um, the first uh, group prosperity class that I conducted at Catland was called the Divine Prosperity Workshop. That was on the one and only Friday the 13th for 2016, the year of divine completion. Um, this particular 
a divine prosperity event is being called a divine prosperity event as God has guided me to refer to it. And there have been a few changes with regards to this divine prosperity event uh, from the divine prosperity workshop that I led on Friday, May 13th, 2016. So for starters, um, this time around, it's $20 per person. I felt that $10 per person was a very low introductory rate. And since it was the very first group metaphysical class that I led at Catland, I figured $10 per person was okay. Um, truth be told, it really didn't sit right with me, but I figured, you know what, it's my first time there, so leading a class, so that's fine. But, um, well, to be perfectly honest, I know that given that historically, my highest um, fee per participant was $40 per person if they pre-registered and $50 per participant at the door. $20 per person is still quite a steal. Um, and the fact of the matter is that, you know, a percentage of the monies that I receive when I give readings at Catland and when I lead classes at Catland go to Catland. And I think that Catland deserves to receive more money because they're very good to me. They're very good to me. So that's one change. So for those of you that were hoping it would still be $10, you had an opportunity to have it at $10 on Friday, May 13th, 2016. Right, right. So that's one change. Another change is that I will be leading um, a different, I'll be discussing a different set of metaphysical methods and sacred tools. There may be one, maybe two that I talked about on Friday, May 13th, that I will also discuss on Friday, September 30th, but um, for the most part, I'm going to be discussing a different set of metaphysical methods and sacred tools. That's another change. A third change is that there's going to be more in-class exercises this time around. And um, as some of you know, I really don't discuss moon magic and lunar lore publicly. Um, I really reserve that for um, long-time clients, long-time students, fellow witches with whom I've been I've engaged in ritual work and spellcraft for, let's say, more than five to seven years. But I felt led to talk a little bit about the sacred significance of that particular night. So I'm sure that most of you have heard of the term blue moon. The general description of a blue moon is the second full moon in the same calendar month. For example, um, there is going to... I hope I have it still listed. Uh, yes. I love having multiple tabs. Multiple tabs helps me a lot. So, let me go to uh, timeanddate.com, one of my favorite websites. And specifically, I'm looking at 2018. So, it just so happens that on Monday, January 1st, 2018, there is a full moon. And I love the fact that in magical traditions, Monday is the day of the moon. So a full moon on a Monday is very astrologically and magically appropriate. But there is also a full moon on Wednesday, January 31st, 2018. Now, for a lot of people, that second full moon in the same calendar month is called a blue moon. Um, and it just so happens that uh, there is also going to be uh, a blue moon situation in March of 2018. There will be a full moon on Thursday, March 1st, and another one on uh, Saturday, March 31st of 2018. Now, next month is September 2016. There will be a full moon, I'm sorry, there will be a new moon on, hold on, Thursday, September 1st, that is a new moon in Virgo, and that is also a solar eclipse, by the way. But there is also going to be a new moon on Friday, September 30th, 2016. That was one of the reasons why I felt it would be especially auspicious to lead um, a divine prosperity event on Friday, September 30th, 2016. And that will be not a solar eclipse not a lunar eclipse, but it will be a new moon in Libra. Um, and generally speaking, the second new moon in the same calendar month is referred to as a black moon. Blue moons and black moons are great and ideal 
for setting long-term intentions. So, um, and it just so happens that there will be there will not be another black moon until July 2019, if I remember correctly. Um, okay, hold on, because I did something with my computer and it started to freak out and all that other stuff. Okay, fine. So, um, I'm very excited about that. I really am. And as somebody that works with lunar lunar magic, um, and that primarily looks at the transiting phases of the moon as far as when it's ideal to schedule a group metaphysical class um, as well as ritual work and spellcraft I really do enjoy um, working with lunar energy so um, but that's a massive sidebar um, and and I will be conducting a prosperity ritual for the participants, but it will not be the same one that I conducted on Friday, May 13th, 2016 at Catland. It will be a different one. Um, but I'm very excited about the, the particular... Uh, hold on. Pause, please. As I sip my coffee. Hmm. My really good coffee. Oh yeah, the video. Sorry. It's good coffee. There's always great coffee at Chehobea. Alright, so like I was saying, um, oh, that's so good. <laughs> okay, I, I, I focus. I'm, I'm focusing, I promise. So, um, you know, there's definitely a lot of magic in the air over the next few weeks. And, and I'm very excited about this. Now, I know that I previously said that the divine pro the group prosperity class that I led on Friday May 13th would be the last one I lead this year I was wrong it has been known to happen from time to time um, do I foresee leading another one before the end of this year not really um, but um, I will definitely do something for those of you who will not be able to participate in this divine prosperity event in exactly five weeks on Friday, September 30th, 2016 at Catland from 7 to 9 p.m. And um, that video is forthcoming. I cannot thank all of you enough for being patient with me. My side position of employment has become a lot more involved and a lot busier for me. And I have also been indulging in you watching YouTube videos as opposed to making and uploading them. And I've also been catching up on a lot of TV shows, some of which are no longer on the air. Um, I've been indulging in a nice summer vacation when I have the time to do so. And um, it feels nice. And I know that any downtime that I have, I'm going to milk for all it's worth because I know that it's going to be very infrequent. But with all that being said, I want to thank you for honoring who I am and what I do. I want to thank you for those of you who have become and who have remained my YouTube channel subscribers, as well as those of you who just watch my videos and, and don't subscribe. And of course, those of you who honor Catland and all we do as well. And feel free to post any comments that you may have or any questions that you may have. And I promise you I will get to them as soon as possible. For, but for now, I wish you a beautiful evening. I wish you a happy Friday, and I wish you many blessings.